In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your K10K cup brewer. So when you put the cup in here, you turn it on, you hit brew, no water comes out. I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. The first thing to do, the short term fix, is to use a paper clip. Now, the paper clip is the standard old paper clip there. What you're going to do is you're going to flex this guy out. And what you do is you make sure that your Keurig is unplugged, you open this, you tilt it back, and in here you will see the needle that punctures the K-cup. And what you do is you take your paper clip and you simply stab the three different holes along that needle. Now the hole in the back is the hardest to get through and there's a little rubber tip in there, you don't want to wreck it. And you just simply keep poking it like this and it will clear the grounds at least for one cup of coffee so you can get your coffee brewing and get going. That is a temporary fix to clear the unit. Now I'm going to show you the much more permanent fix, the long time six month to one year fix. What you do is you take your cup out, you take this out, you make sure to drain all of the water out of this unit. This is super important because we're going to take that off Again, unplug the unit so you don't have an electrical shock. Now you take your unit, you flip it back, and you open the lid up, and you will see in here there are two screws. And these two screws you simply take out, and this will begin the process. Once you get those two screws out of the bottom, you simply leave the lid half cranked open. What you do is you grab this, and you push it back. It's a little bit awkward, but you push it back, and the lid will come off. You'll see these two claws here. These two claws are how the lid stays on. And once you take the lid out, you simply set it to the side. Once you get this lid off, you'll see this hose, you'll see a zip tie and a couple of screws. Some people have actually been able to just simply scooch this hose off without popping the zip tie off. I have not had much success with that. So I will try it and see if I can scooch it off here. Nope, I'm not having success. So what I'm going to do is just simply chop the zip tie without damaging the hose. And now I can take off this hose. There you go. And this hose often gets goobered up with junk and we're going to next take off these two screws. So you simply take off these two screws here. All right and now this rubber piece in here this whole assembly will fall out now that I've unscrewed it and this has the needle poker the valve and everything else. And what you do is you simply take off this rubber piece here and you can see it's kind of goobed up. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean that and we're just going to give this a good little clean. And with the top assembly with the needle we simply tap it on the paper and you can see a few crumbs of coffee grounds on there. And what you want to do is make sure that there are no coffee grounds or anything in this needle. Some people just tap it out, but I like to wash it as well. And make sure to get everything out. And you can see dark stuff just coming into the sink there. Rinse that out. Shake it off. And now I can see through all three holes. There you go. Completely clear and I will dry it. Just dry it with a paper towel, make sure it's all nice and clean to remove any coffee residue and everything else on there. It uh, gets surprisingly dirty from this whole process. And I will make sure, even though I've rinsed this rubber piece off, this little grommet, I'll also clean that off a little bit. Okay, good. So we're all clean here. And now I simply put this rubber grommet back over the needle. And that comes in here. 
And now I will put this back into the head and I will screw it together. And now this hose is sitting over here. We're going to plug the coffee unit back in, the Keurig Keg 10. I'm going to put a cup of water into the Keurig. Fill it up and now that I've poured my cup of water in there, I've drained it in, turned the unit on, and open and close. Press the brew button and we're going to wait for the unit to brew. And you'll see some coffee grounds swirling in the water. And now that the cup is finished, you'll see a few coffee grounds in the cup here and that helps clear the hose. We'll simply pour that out and now I will put my cup down. I will unplug the unit again just for safety after I shut it off. And now that I've unplugged the unit, I will simply put the hose back on. And the temptation is not to put the zip tie on, but that's not safe because this boiling hot water can pop off. And you simply put the zip tie around. And clip off the tail. And now I'm going to put the lid back on. It's a little bit of a pain. It's found if you put the nose down, put those two claws back in and then squish it down here. And now we will put the two screws back in. Getting these two screws back in is a challenge because they are stainless, so they're not magnetic, so it's really hard to get it in there. Be careful not to cross thread the plastic. It can be very frustrating. Get your unit plugged back in, your K10. Get some water, pour it in, turn it on. and start the brew. And after this fills up, you'll see that there's still quite a few grounds of coffee that come out of this thing. So it's a bit of a process. I've cleaned it up, but that is all there is to it. To completely get your Keurig K10 unit working again, so you can have your fresh cup of coffee in the morning. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and comment on the video. And if you found it useful, subscribe to the channel. Enjoy your Keurig K10 coffee.